Hello. As you know, humanity faces many complex and interconnected challenges. Our global population is expanding, which means that we need more food and our energy consumption will rise even more. We still rely on fossil fuels that pollute our environment and negatively affect climate change. And we need to provide employment and economic growth, but in a responsible and sustainable way. Our response to these challenges will define this century. I believe the bioeconomy offers a unique perspective to tackle these challenges. The bioeconomy transforms biological resources into food, materials, energy and more. It actually uses crops, trees, animals and microorganisms, but also waste from farms, from fisheries and industry and biodegradable waste from households. Innovation and technology can help transform these natural resources sustainably. The bioeconomy is an opportunity to use less, but actually gain more. In order to succeed, industry, researchers, policymakers and civil society must all work together. So, the European Commission's new proposal on the circular economy will contribute to boosting our economy while reducing waste. We want to provide the stimulus for European research to transform biological waste and resources into new potential for commercial applications. And then, we want industry to work with researchers, make investments and bring these new products to market. My fellow commissioners, my services and I will all do our part to foster the bioeconomy. And as a commissioner for uh, research, science and innovation, I want to remove barriers to investment in the European bioeconomy. We are already working to both stimulate investment and to ensure the EU acts consistently in all policy areas related to the bioeconomy. Bioeconomy principles need actually to be embedded in EU policy for agriculture, forestry, fisheries, energy and more. Of course, great work is already being done. Several member states have now also developed national bioeconomy strategies and many regions have made the bioeconomy part of their smart specialization strategy. I encourage all member states and regions to learn from the bioeconomy success stories that we are witnessing all over Europe. So now it's actually time for you to consider what you can do. I look really forward to seeing you, what actions you are actually taking in the near future. Thank you very much.